Hello my friends. Well today is an interesting exploratory day. I put, uh, I've done two tractors now on the poor man's power steering. And uh, it's not my idea, like I said. The 180 was done last spring. It's been seven or eight months. And I've had some comments about grease compatibility, right? So it's been eat away at me and now I'm gonna have a look today. So uh, we'll just get this tractor up in the air a little bit. And I'm not gonna disconnect any of the steering or anything so you'll see actually how easy this might be. I'm gonna come up a little bit so I don't have to reach. I'm on the frame of the blade with the jack. Okay, so now I'm not gonna take the tire off, none of that. I have a chart here telling me the uh, compatibilities. So now uh, let's just take this snapper. Oh, rubber, rubber gloves, guys. Rubber gloves. We are going to need gloves. It's icky. <coughs> and you guys can watch. Maybe just like last time, right there. There we go. That should do it. Can everybody see? So with any luck at all, I should be able to just remove that, pardon me, it's a rain. This clip out here, we'll see how we're doing. We might not have to do anything. I'm just checking to see the quality of the grease. There's the clip there. One. Look at that, it just fell right out. Excuse me. Cold garages make runny noses. Oh man. I dropped it. Okay, let's just have a look here. Let's see if this grease went icky. I don't think so. It's definitely mixed the two greases together. Let's just take the whole bearing, all three bearings off of here. Well, I think it's still lubricating. But now that we have it apart, I'm going to clean it up and just go to one type of grease. Okay, so I'm just going to do a little more wiping down. And uh, when I get the grease out, we'll come back. Okay, I have uh, sort of filled the little bearings on this roller bearing up with grease. I'm going to do a little bit more. Okay, so washer, whoop, washer, bearing, modified washer, make sure, I always try and put the smoothest side down, I think that's the side that has been showing a little bit of action. Now we're just going to boop some grease on here, I bumped it, can you still see? There's where I'm working. Yes. <clears throat> Good. Now, we're just going to pop this back on. Right. And then we take our clip. Really? This is all you have to do. When I did the video on the two tractors, I took the steering apart on both, but I wanted to have a look at the steering, so that's... All right.
Oh, I see. Okay, we're just going to take it off one more time. I wonder if I can use the other ones. I like using these ones more. Good. Good. Feel it going, it's such a good feeling. There, click. Okay, I'm gonna just grease it now. Maybe. There we go. When we want grease to come out the top and the bottom, maybe you can. Well, I'm gonna have to bring you guys through the water. I wonder. There we go. I think you guys can see that. So let's pump this up and see if we can get grease coming out of the top and the bottom. It's cold in here. That's why. Oh, there's it coming out of the bottom. Now I'm going to lift up on it and see if we can get grease to come out the top. on my leg. Okay, let's... Still coming out of the bottom, eh? Come on, baby. I'm making a mess. There we go, we got grease coming out of the top. Okay. Now, wipe this muck up. My friends in Florida, you don't have to put up with this. Like, when you're, when you live in Canada or in the northern states, everything freezes, right? Grease gets stiff, oil gets stiff. Good. Isn't that a nice thing? So now we're going to do the other side. I don't know if it's worth for you guys to watch that. Maybe we'll do a fast motion on the other side. How does that sound? We gotta go out. And we're going to be working right there. That should work. Okay. All right. And what I'm doing is I'm just cleaning out the, sh the shaft, right? and or the bushing and this is interesting you'd think they'd be the same but on my lx178 which is the other tractor that i just did this week right uh this bushing has a cap so i wouldn't want to i wouldn't want to grind this down i had some suggestions to grind this down so i could use the original uh, uh split ring washer and uh I'm having a hard time remembering that, eh? So anyway, the one had a washer that, or a bushing that actually rose above here. So let's just run this through here one more time.
I did this on the other side too. And that gets all the grease off of it. And on the other tractor it had a cavity inside the spindle housing. And on this one, the grease is on a is on a recessed. The grease travels in a recessed groove. Can you guys can you see that groove right there? That's kind of cool. So now Okay, we're recording. So, the flat washer goes on first. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna wipe it off again because I got dirt on it. Okay. And the second bearing gets a little grease. <clears throat> it's warming up in here now. It's Grease is a little easier to deal with. That should do. Stick a little grease on top of that. Oh, there will be lots more when it gets greased. Okay, and then our last. Uh, I think it's going to go this way. That's too cool, eh? No, I just want to make sure that that is in there. Look, oh, there we go. Wipe the existing grease off, and then we'll pump some in. Yay! Evil. Okay, I want you guys to know that cleanliness is the most important thing when you're doing something like this. You got to get your hands dirty. Okay, here we go. We want to, let's see, we want to look at the top. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that too. Right here is where we're looking. We want to see grease come out of the top. Oh, I'll bring you down here. There's grease coming, lots of coming out of the bottom, but now there's some coming out the top right there. See, around the entire thing. So I'm just going to clean this up. Too much comes out the bottom, but that's okay, that's where the bearing is. Okay. Okay, so now I got rid of the old grease, no more compatibility issues. And yes, I'm still going to do the other one, but it looks like I've got some time, because it really wasn't that bad. Thanks, guys. Time to clean up. All right. So, I came across this chart. It's a little hard to see, but the gist of it is, is this synthetic grease that I used on the bearing is calcium carbonate, calcium sulfonate, and calcium acetate, and calcium borate. Okay, so on here I would call that a calcium complex. Now I don't have a calcium complex, <laughs> but that's what that one is. And this grease is old. I mean, I mean, it's, I've had it around for at least 20 years. I got to give was given a case of it by a guy that was leaving town. And uh, it says there is a there is something in the labels here, just a second. 
as a Paratic is a premium quality automotive and industrial grease. The aluminum complex base grease has a light high dropping point. So aluminum complex and calcium complex right there in my in my ugly little Okay, there's aluminum and there's calcium right there. It says it's incompatible. Now, we're not mixing together 50 ounces of each one, right? And I didn't find the grease had broken down after eight months in the machine. But after seeing that, it you know, you get to thinking. So thanks, Jim S. and Steve, for the comments on uh, the first uh, John Deere Poor Man's Steering video for me. Thanks a lot. So... Yes, I was misinformed on the grease compatibility. I thought that the synthetic grease that I got from GM would be like compatible with everything because it's synthetic, but it's not. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll say what Mrs. Bruce says. I wasn't wrong, I was misinformed by myself, which means I was wrong. So yeah, now I get to do the other one, but it's out. Under four inches of snow, I'm not going to touch it today. And I've got time. I mean, this one was eight months and it was still slippery. Nothing had congealed into a tacky paste like it says when you read online about mixing incompatible greases. So anyway, very interesting. I will post this video. And uh, thanks for watching, my friends. And uh, have a good day.